morning's mass offered for the repose of the souls of Lucia Giovanelli, Rose and Anthony Mingioni, and Roseanne Cox. Glory to God in the highest. Amen. Peace had been baptized in the river Jordan, and as the Holy Spirit descended upon him, solemnly declared him, your beloved son, grant that your children, by adoption, reborn of water and the Holy Spirit, may always be well-pleasing to you. We ask this through our Lord, Jesus Christ, your son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. with him. 
the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The heavens were opened and the voice of the Father thundered. This is my beloved Son. Listen to him. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. The people were filled with expectation and all were asking in their hearts whether John might be the Christ. John answered them all, saying, I am baptizing you with water, but one mightier than I is coming. I am not worthy to loosen the thongs of his sandals. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and with fire. After all the people had been baptized, and Jesus also had been baptized and was praying, heaven was opened, and the Holy Spirit descended upon him in bodily form like a dove. And a voice came from heaven, You are my beloved Son, with you I am well pleased. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise you, Lord Jesus. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Church celebrates today the Feast of the Baptism of our Lord with the sacrament of baptism we're all reminded in baptism the seed of faith was planted in our souls it's not something that we would come by naturally it's a gift given from god the ability to believe in him is a gift and that seed was sown in our souls in the sacrament of baptism. Why? Humanity has a question. It continuously asks that question. Where are you, God? We start with the understanding that probably cavemen had. Think of our primitive ancestors who lived in caves and wore skins, hunter-gatherers. They come out of the cave and they look at the sky and they say, it's raining. I don't make the rain. Who makes the rain? Where is the person who makes the rain? We learn how to put seeds in the ground and when that rain comes, those seeds grow. Who made the seeds? And who fashioned them so that they can grow? Where is that person who does this? They go out at night and they see the stars in the sky. And humanity from the beginning asks, who, who put those lamps in the sky? And they have a pattern. And they can be guides when we travel. We don't hang those lights. Where is the person that hung those lights? And then if you're into National Geographic, you read that every one of these ancient people, no matter how primitive they were, when someone died, they didn't just throw the dead person away. It was some sort of a, a ritual that they buried the person. And they buried them with food and clothing and tools that they would need for their journey. There was a sense, well, beginning of humanity, there was a sense they are going on a journey. Who were they journeying to? Where is the end of the journey? Humanity has asked these questions. 
God in his goodness, over thousands and thousands of centuries, God reaches down and tried to show himself to the people. Through the prophets, he spoke to them. Every once in a while, he would do some mighty deed so that he could get their attention, like parting the Red Sea or making the sun stop in its course across the sky. But still, he was very far away. They didn't see him. Where are you? We know that there's something more than us. We know that there's something greater. Someone who has planned things. Someone who has set it all up so that it works. Where are you? The Greek philosophers, you hear the name Aristotle and Plato and Socrates. The Greek philosophers tried to figure it out inside of their heads. They tried to arrive by reason at where the source is. And the Greek philosophers were looking for the source of rightness and wrongness. What makes a thing right? What makes a thing wrong? It's not my decision. It's outside of me. Where do I find this person outside of me? Where is the source of rightness and wrong? At midnight on December 25th, God sent his son into the world. The shepherds were called to come and see. And the angels told them, you've been searching for the one who hung the stars and the one who is the source of right and wrong and all wisdom. You've been looking for him. Here he is. And the gospel tells us the shepherds were afraid. They were exceedingly <coughs> afraid, and they didn't totally understand. And then, a few days later, to the Magi, who came and followed a star, God showed his son and said, here he is, the answer, the one you were looking for, the source, the creator. Now you can see him, here he is. The Magi understood that somehow this was a movement of God, but they weren't totally sure. Now, 30 years after the Magi, Christ goes down to the Jordan River. St. John the Baptist is baptizing people with a baptism of repentance for their sins in order to prepare for the coming of the Messiah. And Christ takes this baptism because he wanted the people to understand how important this is. And the sky opens and the voice of God the Father said, for how many tens of thousands of years have you been looking to find where God is? Here. He's showing himself to you. He's about to begin the public ministry, and for three years, you will see him. But this baptism sacrament, understood from the very beginning to be so important because each of us, it is necessary that we receive this baptism sacrament in order that we can find God in order that we could answer the question that the Greeks came almost to the point of solving, but not quite, because they tried to do it without God. Where is that person who is at the end of the human journey? Where can I find him? Baptism is the seed of faith sown in our souls that gives us the ability to find God in this world. And where do we find him? You're doing it right now. We find him in his word, we listen to what he said, and we find him there. We meet him 
in the sacraments. We receive Holy Communion and we find him there. It's God telling us, I know you've been looking for me. I know you want to know about me. Here I am. This is where I can be found. Think of baptism this way. Without baptism, for thousands of years, the world searched for God and didn't find him. <coughs> baptism and that seed of faith makes it possible for us to find him. It's like an app. If you put it on your phone, it opens you up to all sorts of information. It opens you up to all sorts of other. Baptism was an app implanted in our souls that opens us up to the other. It makes it possible for us to find God. Without that app, without that openness, that seed of faith in our hearts, the human race would have continued to search and try to figure out and guess and look for God and continue to miss him. Baptism is where the relationship with God begins. He's showing himself to us as he did at the Jordan River. Here I am. You can find me here. How smart do you think you are? If we talk about intelligence, you could say to yourself, oh, I don't know how to do trigonometry anymore. Uh, oh, I'm not good with languages. Oh, I really don't know how to fix my lawnmower if it breaks. Oh, I have no idea about plumbing or electricity. I guess I'm not really very smart. Well, there's a type of wisdom that the world has. And it's the type of wisdom that can make you fix your lawnmower or do carpentry and plumbing. There is a kind of wisdom. But there's another kind of wisdom. It's the wisdom that goes back to the caveman. Where can I find the one who hung those stars? It's the wisdom that answers questions that are much more important and much bigger than a broken sink drain. They're the questions of existence, of humanity, and God. Do you realize that the fact that you're here this morning is really a statement? I know where to find him. I know where he is. I know how to listen to him. I know how to figure out what he's doing. I have the faith that makes that possible. It was given to me in baptism. There are lots of things I don't know, and maybe they're not really that important. But the one big question, the one big search, the one big knowledge looked for from the time that human beings began to think. That I do know. I can't take credit for it. Uh, I can't say I, I learned it, I studied it. It was a gift from God planted in my soul at baptism. I know where to find him. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please stand for the Queen. I believe in one God. Father,
Blessed be the kingdom of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, now, forever, for ages, unto endless ages. The response to each petition will be, Lord, have mercy. For parents struggling to live decent lives and teach their children to reverence and worship God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the protection of those who travel, for the sick, for the suffering, for those in captivity and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, I have mercy. For the despondent, that they may experience the saving hand of God with deliverance from all troubles, misery, danger, and want, and even the most distressing of circumstances, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, I have mercy. For the sick of the parish, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, I have mercy. For deceased family and friends, especially Charlotte Di Pietro and Francis Kelly, and the souls of those enrolled in our parish purgatorial society for this month, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. O oh God, help, save, pity, protect us who call upon you in faith. For we do rely on the intercession of Blessed Virgin Mary, imploring Saint Gennaro and all the saints, we commend ourselves, each other, our whole lives, to Christ our God, to thee be glory, for ages unto endless ages. Amen. The 2022 Catholic Ministries Appeal Cards are available today for pickup in the rear of the church or in the parish office during the week. Our
Again, let us pray. Accept, O Lord, the offerings we have brought to honor the revealing of your beloved Son, so that the oblation of your faithful may be transformed into the sacrifice of him who willed in his compassion to wash away the sins of the world, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. You lift them up. Let us give Lord. thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty, our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Eternal God. For in the waters of the Jordan, you revealed with signs and wonders a new baptism so that through the voice that came down from heaven we might come to believe in your word dwelling among us and by the spirits descending in the likeness of a dove we might know that Christ your servant has been anointed with the oil of gladness and sent to bring the good news to the poor so with powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth. Before your majesty, without end, we acclaim. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice once more. Giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you. Drink from it, 
This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. resurrection we offer you lord bread of life chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you humbly we pray partaking of the body and blood of christ we may be gathered into one by the holy spirit and remember lord your church spread throughout the world bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, John, our Bishop, all the clergy. Remember brothers and sisters fallen asleep in hope of resurrection, all who died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, Blessed Apostles, the Saints, who pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, God, Almighty Father, in unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory, all honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, pray from every evil graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin safe from all distress as we await blessed hope the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ for Jesus Christ who said to your Apostles peace I leave you my peace I give you Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always.
God behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy. So we do count on every family in the parish to help to do something in order to assist us in meeting that goal of $37,500. You can bring the pledge card back on any Sunday and drop your donation in the um, basket as long as it's in the envelope marked 
2022 Ministries Appeal. So please, we're counting on every family. We usually get about 300 responses. That doesn't make a parish, really. 300 families. Uh, give something. If we get your name down as a family that's willing to donate, that's very important to us. Thank you. Let us pray. Accept, O oh Lord, the offerings we have brought to honor the revealing of your only beloved Son, so that the oblation of your faithful may be transformed into the sacrifice of him who willed in his compassion to wash away the sins of the world, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Praise